here we are with another video and in this video i will be talking about megan markle boy 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 no megan no here we go again i mean this is the truth oh and there's more oh i'm not done yet oh and there's more oh i'm not done yet i mean this is the truth show oh yes I know it's been a while since I talked about Megan, but here's the latest tea. You all know that Megan and Prince Harry recently had their baby on May 6th, but it's not just news about that. It's also the somewhat questionable way they've been treating Prince Harry and Megan. Like for example, while they were standing on the balcony, Megan and Prince Harry were nearly pressed in the back like peasants. Meanwhile, Prince William and Kate, who are still on their divorce and cheating refurbishing image tour with that guardian event and then being together on the balcony with the kids, playing a PR slam dunk, okay? Oh, in regards to the Megan and Harry being pressed against the walls, I know some of you will say that they're lined up in order of ranks. That may be partially true, although not proven, but what also is weird is Kate Sutton change in attire. She no longer dresses 20 years above her age. She's taking notes from Megan, apparently, who was just nominated as the most influential royal style icon. So the question has been raised, is this some plan to annihilate Megan's fame or worse? But what I'm about to tell you will give you mixed emotions. And if you are a Meghan Markle fan, you will be disappointed. Now we all know that she just had a baby, but it seems that Meghan hasn't been working out. It has been told that she is not in a hurry to shed the pregnancy weight. Apparently Meghan has been pretty relaxed when it comes to transforming her body. As we all know, um, Meghan was very fit before getting pregnant and really dedicated to her fitness routine. That being said, the former actress would supposedly ride around the park in Kensington Palace, but now she has decided to take it easy. She used to do a lot of yoga as her post-birth fitness, you know, routine. Nothing too strenuous, but you know, she was doing it on the regular. The whole approach has been kind of holistic. It's been pretty gentle. It has been a natural embracing of motherhood. They trying to make this sound soft, seriously. And with that, she has come very, you know, gentle into her routine. Uh, yeah, I guess you could put it that way. Megan has not been hitting the gym as much either. No weights, nothing. I mean, she's been chilling. I mean, it's only been a month since she gave birth. But it's not just that. It's her desire to not want to. That's the thing I'm worried about. I see it. She was like, I'm just taking it easy, but I can't wait to get back to my, you know, regular self again but she seemed like she literally just devoured in motherhood which is not a bad thing but considering she's a public image and Harry is known to have a wonder and I I'm not saying she should live up to her standards but at least her standards you have to love yourself first if you let yourself go you stop loving yourself and she seemed to be this positive spoken woman so I don't want her to fall back and lose herself and just you know and Harry you're gonna be bitter and I'm gonna get into that a little bit more. I'm jumping ahead of myself, so let me go back to what I was saying. I'm saying this because it seems that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are showing signs of tension. There seems to be tension between the two. He seemed to be very willing to attend events without her, and he's smiling. <laughs> Although she's still at home nursing, it just seems like he's enjoying this time away from her. You know, he seems like he's liberated, you know, in some format. At first, you know, he was got in with his ring and looking like he was lost and now he's like oh i'm out you know that's the vibe i'm getting but i could be just completely embellishing this whole thing but you know let me just move forward here it was even told that he was reported flirting with rita Ora, and you know how she get down okay she's pretty and more freakier than megan especially with the rumors of her cheating with uh you know jay-z A.K. becky I having threesomes with him. Oh yes, mm -hmm. Beyonce is a freak. Oh, the nasty things she do. You know, hints her song. Oh, I'm still not done yet. You all remember the that balcony appearance? Let's go back to that. Well, someone noticed that Megan and, and Harry may have been arguing. Take a look at this clip. But let me just set the scene first. It seems that Megan turned around twice to speak to Harry while he was speaking to someone on his left. But what raises question is Harry's face and Megan's face after speaking to him you know her face seemed like disappointed i mean sometimes acting can cover up the pain take a look at it I don't 
know y'all, but I'm starting to think that Harry regret marrying Megan and is ready to go back to his single bachelor days or maybe he's just stressed. I don't know. I mean, is, six, is the six weeks up for you to have sex? Let's see, May 9th. Well, it should. No, actually it's not. Hope it's not up yet. So it could be just sexual tension, to be perfectly honest. But anyway, it was told that he was pissed that they made him ride with the wives you remember you know he was in the carriage right before this whole balcony event he was riding with the wives y'all okay seriously how humiliating can that be he was riding with the wives okay imagine a prince in your status and you just got married and you're literally the most famous person in your family now and you're riding with the wives let that marinate a little bit okay <laughs> i'm just saying anyway this is what they were saying basically he felt like that was an insult and them secretly telling people his place in a monarchy i thought you know that this was prince charles you know maybe he had something to do with it but i don't think prince charles even cared this is the queen written all over it this is her giving the spoiled privileged horny son charles and especially grandson william their notion to believe the praetorian doesn't always get what he wants She's trying to secure the monarchy before passing it along. You know, I'm just saying, tell me what you all think below.